Bud Witter was a great coach. A plaque, a testament to the individual performances of many of his athletes. Books that he wrote to share his knowledge. Back at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal, Wolfgang Schmidt in the ring for his sixth and final throw of the competition. At the time, he was in third place, trailing American John Powell and his close friend, Mac Wilkins. Look at here. Well, that's a second place medal. Just John Powell to bronze. is waiting for the measurement to come up. I'll put him in second place. 17 11. 2 17 11 for Smith. It was an exhilarating moment for both Schmidt and Wilkins. These two fierce competitors, one from the East, one from the West, had bridged the political gap between them in the most pressure packed arena in sport. shared something in common with our event that overcame politics and that's the real original meaning of sport in the Olympics is the, the sport uh, the intrinsic value overcomes politics and politics really didn't have any place in our relationship you know you only competed a couple times a year during the summer did you correspond in the months in between we did uh, every once in a while I'd get a postcard or a letter from him and and I try to send a letter to him I didn't know if it ever got through though after not seeing his friend for three years, Wilkins tries to focus his energy toward another goal at the 1984 L.A. Games. And then I heard that he was in prison and they had uh, removed him from athletic competition. I didn't think I'd ever see him again. He was their biggest name in track and field in East Germany. And they wanted the system to be stronger than any individual. Posing a specimen as Schmidt is, not even he was big enough to fight the system. The discus, like most field events, is a lonely and introspective pursuit. One can only compare it to an artist, alone with his canvas, with only a skill and imagination to guide him. Perhaps the system that tried so hard to break him succeeded only in driving him harder toward his love of the event. In the endless days that dragged on for him in an East German prison, maybe he gained enough strength and courage to take the steps that would eventually lead to his freedom. East Germany is not uh, all in the world. So I would like to leave this country because uh, too many problems for me and I was not happy in this country. But uh, finally, after seven and a half years, I got it. Now I really enjoy the liberty, you know? And uh, I really enjoy my life. I can enjoy it much more than before. Throughout their relationship, Mac and Wolfie have maintained one credo. If it's not fun, it's not worth doing. I was going to a disco with some friends, and I saw him walking out the front door of the hotel. We were in a taxi. I said, Wolfgang, come on, let's go to the disco. So he ran and got in the taxi and took off. His leader got in the taxi and followed us to the disco, squeezed <laughs> in the booth with, with all his young people, and he was sitting there drinking a glass of mineral water, having a good time, and pretending like he was one of the guys. You know, that was a little bit unusual back in 1976 for athletes from the East and the West to even communicate with each other, much less go to a disco. So I had to go from the discotheque home, and uh, because of my leader, we lived right next to each other. So he was looking, I go in my room, in my hotel room, he went in his hotel room, and I was listening, and he closed his door, I opened my door, and I went out, and I go to Max's room, and so we had uh, some time together by ourselves. Their friendship is a triumph of spirit and perseverance. And with Wolfie's newfound freedom, that friendship need never be threatened again. In today's discus competition, we see Adeo Lukuju of Nigeria and Azusa Pacific University up for his second attempt in this afternoon's discus competition. And on that second attempt, he establishes a new national record for Nigeria of 215 feet. Next up, Mike Bunchik, also his second attempt. And he will take the lead with this throw of 219 feet, 10 inches. Unfortunately for Bunchik, he fouled on his three final throws and was unable to improve on his 219 mark. Wolfgang Schmidt said he had thrown very far in practice this last week. Now, 
fifth attempt for 1976 Olympic champion Mac Wilkins. Currently in fourth place. He was also the silver medalist in the 1984 Olympic Games in L.A. and fifth in Seoul. And on his fifth throw, he gets his best mark of the year and moves from fourth place to second place with a throw of 218 feet. Mac is not only tremendously fit for any 38-year-old, but a tremendous technician as well. That has been the mainstay of his greatness for the last 15 years that he is a consistent technician. Mac Wilkins into second place at 218. Now up for his sixth and final throw from West Germany, Wolfgang Schmidt, currently in second place. Very consistent all afternoon. The winds have been very favorable for the throwers. And he gets one out, and he likes that throw. Also training very, very hard these months that he's in California. Six foot six, 270 pound Wolfgang Schmidt, also a fantastic technician. The East Germans in all field events are tremendously technically oriented. And on his final throw, 222 feet, the leading throw in the world this year. Mike Budchick at 219.10, and Mac Wilkins takes third. I'll be back.